Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Pray First. It's a conversation we have Monday through Friday right here on the Pastor Doug page where we uh, pray together, we read God's Word together, we discuss His Word together as a bigger principle of giving our first to God in everything we do. My name is Dennis. I'm one of the team that comes to you Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, and we are as part of the Bible Project. We're reading through the Bible. We've been through the New Testament. We're currently in 1 Chronicles. I'll be starting in chapter 22 today, where Pastor Brandy left off yesterday. If you would hashtag live, if you're watching this at 7 o'clock hour, hashtag recorded if you're watching it any other time, and hashtag shared if you're putting this out on your social media pages so other people can uh, see it and uh, know what's going on and enjoy it. Man, it's uh, fantastic weather. We had a little rain yesterday. And I'm looking forward to better, uh, even better weather today, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. It's getting toward that time of year uh, soon where we'll have pop-up thunder showers. Just uh, out of nowhere, it seems, from the heat, I guess, is causing that moisture in the air. So, good morning to all of you. Seems like it's been a while since so I had vacation. I was off a while. And uh, just, just good to see you and good to be here with everyone. So I hope you're doing well. We're going to pray for you at the end of this broadcast. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get started in 1 Chronicles 22. I'm going to, uh, this is where David, uh, it's the heading in the message version. It's what we use here. Is that David charges Solomon to build the temple. So that's a heading kind of to get us started off here <clears throat> as we read. So if you would read with me, I'm going to set a, we try to read for 15 minutes just as a little outline there is to go by. All right, here we go. David ordered all the resident aliens in the land to, become, to come together. He sent them to the stone quarries to cut dressed stone to build the temple of God. He also stockpiled a huge quantity of iron for nails and bracings for the floors of the gates, more bronze than could be weighed, and cedar logs past counting. The Sidonians and Tyrians shipped in huge loads of cedar logs for David. David was thinking, My son Solomon is too young to plan ahead for this, but the sanctuary that is to be built for God has to be the greatest. The talk of the nations, so I, all the nations, so I'll get the construction materials together. That's why David prepared this huge stockpile of building materials before he died. Then he called in Solomon, his son, and commanded him to build a sanctuary for the God of Israel. I can just imagine this huge, uh, looked like more than a big lumber yard or some stone quarry, something like that. Verse 7, David said to Solomon, I wanted in the worst way to build a sanctuary to honor my God. But God prevented me, saying, You've killed too many people, fought too many wars. You are not the one to honor me by building a sanctuary. You've been responsible for too much killing, too much bloodshed. But you're going to have a son, and he will be, be a quiet and peaceful man, and I will calm his enemies down on all sides. His very name will speak peace. That is Solomon, which means peace. And I'll give peace and rest under his rule. He will be the one to build a sanctuary in my honor. He'll be my royal adopted son, and I'll be his father. And I'll make sure that the authority of his kingdom over Israel lasts forever. <laughs> So now, son, son, God be with you. God speed as you build the sanctuary for your God, the job God has given you. And may God also give you discernment and understanding when he puts you in charge of Israel so that you will rule in reverence, obedience, and reverent obedience under God's revelation. That's, that's what will make you successful, following the directions and doing the things that God commanded Moses of, for Israel. Courage. Take courage. Don't be timid. Don't hold back. Look at this. I've gone to a lot of trouble to stockpile pile materials for the sanctuary of God. A hundred thousand talents, which is 3,775 tons of gold. Wow. A million talents, 37,750 tons of silver. Tons of bronze and irons, too much to weigh. And all this timber and stone. And you're free to add more. And workers both plentiful and prepared. Stonecutters, masons, carpenters, artisans, 
in gold and silver, bronze and iron. You're all set. Get to work and Godspeed. David gave orders to all of Israel's leaders to help his son Solomon, saying, Isn't it obvious that your God is present with you, that he has given you peaceful relations with everyone around? My part in this was to put down the enemies, subdue the land to God and his people. Your part is to give yourselves heart and soul to praying to your God. So get moving. Build the sacred house of worship to God. Then bring the chest of the covenant of God and all the holy furnishings for the worship of God into the sanctuary built in honor of God. Chapter 23. When David got to be an old man, he, when David got to be an old man, he made his son Solomon king over Israel. At the same time, he brought together all the leaders of Israel, the priests and the Levites. The Levites, 30, 30 years and older, were counted. The total was 38,000. David sorted them into work groups. 24,000 are in charge of administering worship in the sanctuary. 6,000 are officials and judges, 4,000 are security guards, and 4,000 are to serve in the orchestra, praising God with instruments that I have provided for praise. David then divided the Levites into groupings named after the sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. The Gershonites, Ladan, Laden, and Shim, Shimei, the three sons of Laden, Jael, Jetham, and Joel. The three sons of Shimei, Shalamoth, Hazel, and Haran, all heads of the families of Laban. The four sons of Shimei, Jehath, Ziza, Jeush, Jeush Beriah, Jehath came first, followed by Ziza. Jeush and Beriah did not have many sons, so they were counted one, as one family with one task. The four sons of Koath, Amram, Izar, Hebron, and Uziel, the sons of Amram, Aaron, and Moses. Aaron was especially, was especially ordained to work in the Holy of Holies, to burn incense before God, to serve God and bless his name always. This was a permanent appointment for Aaron and his sons. Moses and his sons were counted in the tribe of Levi. The sons of Moses, Gershom and Eliezer, Shubael was the first of Gershom, Rehabiah was the first only and only son of Eliezer. But though Eliezer had no sons, Rehabiah had many sons. Shelemeth was the first son of Izar. Hebron had four sons, Jeriah, Amariah, and Jehaziel, and Jechamim. Uziel had two sons, Micah and Ishai. Ishai, the sons of Merari, Mali, and Mushi, the sons of Mahi, Mahi, Mali, Eleazar, and Kish, Eleazar died without any sons, only daughters. Their cousins, the sons of Kish, married the daughters. Mushi had three sons, Mali, Eder, and Jeremiah. Those are the sons of Levi, 20 years and older, divided up according to families and heads of families, enlisted in the work groups that took care of the worship in the sanctuary of God. David said, now that the God of Israel had, has given rest to this people, his people, and made Jerusalem his permanent home, the Levites no longer have to carry the tabernacle and all the furniture required for the work of worship. These last words of David re referred only to Levites 20 years old and above. From now on, the assigned work of the Levites was to assist Aaron's sons in the work of worship in God's house. Maintain courtyards and closets. Keep the furniture and utensils of worship clean. Take care of any extra work needed in the work of worship. And provide bread for the table and flour for the meal offerings and the unraised wafers. All baking and mixing. All measuring and weighing. Also, they were to be present for morning prayers, thanking and praising God. For, for evening prayers and at the service of whole burnt offerings to God on Sabbath on Sabbath, at new moons, and at all festivals. They were regular on regular duty to serve God according to their assignment and required number. In short, the Levites, with the sons of Aaron as their companions in the ministry of holy worship, 
were responsible for everything that had to do with worship, the place and times and ordering of worship. Chapter 24, the family of Aaron was grouped as follows. Aaron's sons were Nedab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Nadab and Abihu died before their father and left no sons. So Eleazar and Ithamar filled up the office of priest. David assigned Zadok from the family of Eleazar and Ahimelech from the family of Ithamar and assigned them to separate, separate divisions for carrying out their appointed ministries. It turned out that there were more leaders in Eleazar's family than in Ithamar's, and so they divided them proportionately. Sixteen clan leaders from Eleazar's family and eight clan leaders from Ithamar's family. They assigned the leaders by lot, treating them, their both families alike. For there were officials of the sanctuary and officials of God among both the, the Eleazar and Ithamar families. The secretary, Shemaiah, son of Nathaniel, a Levite, wrote down their names in the presence of the king. king. The officials, Zadok, the priest, Ahimelech, son of Abiathar, and the leaders of the priestly and Levitical families. They took turns. One family was select, selected from Eleazar, then one, and then one from Ithamar. The first lot fell to Jehoriah, Jehoriah, Jehoram, the son of Jed, Jediah, the third to Hiram, the fourth to Serum, the fifth to Mal, Malkijah, Malkijah, the sixth to Mijamin, seventh to Hakaz, the eighth to Abijah, ninth to Jeshu, tenth to Shechaniah, eleventh to Elishib, Elishib, the twelfth to Jacob, the thirteenth to Hupa, fourteenth to Jeshabib, the fifteenth to Bilgah, the sixteenth to Emmer, the seventeenth to Hezer, the eighteenth to Hapazes, the 19th to Pathiah, the 20th to Jehezkel, the 21st to Jacob, the 22nd to Gamul, the 23rd to Deliah, the 24th to Maziah. They served in this appointed order when they entered the temple of God, following the procedures laid down by their ancestor Aaron as God, the God of Israel, had commanded him. The rest of the Levites are as follows. From the sons of Amram, Shubael, the sons of Shubael, Jediah, concerning Rehabiah, from the sons Ishiah was the first. From the Israelites, Shelemoth, from the sons of Shelemoth, Jehad, the sons of Hebron, Jeriah the first, Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, and Jechamim, mean Jechamim the fourth. The son of Uziel, Micah, and from the sons of Micah, Shamer, the brother of Micah was Ishiah, and from the sons of Ishiah, Zechariah. The sons of Merari, Mali, and Mushi, the sons of Jehiah, Beno, the sons of Merari, from Josiah, Beno, Shoham, Zakur, and Ibri. From Mali, Eleazar, who had no sons, from Kish, Jeremiel, the son of Kish, from the sons of Mushi, Mali, Eder, and Jeremoth. These were the Levites by their families, and they also cast lots, the same as their kindred, the sons of Aaron, had done in the presence of David the king, Zadok, Ahimelech, and the leaders of the priestly and Levitical families, the families of the oldest and youngest brothers were treated the same. All right, we're going to stop at the end of chapter 23, First Chronicles chapter 23. The next reading will pick up. I mean, 20, we're going to stop at the end of chapter 24. The next reading will pick up in chapter 25. That was a big mouthful. After all those names and the numbers got it, right? All right, guys, I want to pray for you as you go out about your day and, uh, Pray your protection and, and just watch over you. Heavenly Father, thank you for everyone here in the presence of my, hearing, my voice right now. I pray blessings over them, Lord. I pray uh, salvation. If there are visitors here and any of those that need salvation, I pray you continue to reveal yourself to them. That even in just the reading of the names that they can feel your spirit, Lord. 
Father, I pray blessings and I pray healing for our sick, Lord, uplifting for those who are grieving. And Lord, guide us, lead us, lead our leaders, Lord, as we go forth and help us to do what you have for us to do. Just as there was work set forth here for these people, Lord, you've given each one of us a job in your kingdom. Not, not just a secular job, but a spiritual job as well. Lord, help us to use our gifts and our talents to glorify you and in everything give thanks to you and do it as unto you and not unto man. We love you, praise you, and give you all praise and honor and glory. And we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everybody said amen. Love you guys. Be careful driving. Have a fantastic day. Bye.